Then I decided to put in a motorcycle track because I love motorcycles. Uh, you know, they were my really first love. We wanted to put in a sh uh, flat track, you know, which which was very popular in the motorcycle days. And uh, and I I went made the mistake of building one and you know making a nice fifth of a mile dirt track on the inside of the of the racetrack. If my father was living, he would tell you, you know, <laughs> that was a bad idea. You know, they spent a lot of money to put it in. Put up new lighting and everything else. It was kind of neat. The only problem you had is they used to calcium chloride the motorcycle track to keep the dust down. And the dust with this calcium chloride on it would get all over the paved track. And it was like all snot. It was so slippery. Calcium chloride absorbs moisture, right? I don't know if you know that or not, but that's, that's why you put calcium down, because it absorbs the moisture. When it absorbs the moisture out of the air, it keeps the dust down. And that stuff would like get up in the air and like ooze onto the track. And for a while, it would really be loose, really be slippery, you know? Now, I drove my car loose, so it was nothing for me to hang it out. You know, I was kind of like like Brian McCarthy, you know? With right. the, you know, so. It didn't really bother me like it did some people. That was kind of a pain in our sides. <laughs> uh, what happened was that when they ran the motorcycles, they kicked out calcium. It was calcium mixed in with that clay, and it kicked it out onto the track. It made the track dirty. It, it was just like always dirt all over the tracks. There was always a cloud of dust when you went by the pit gate where they would run the motorcycles in and out. The cars didn't handle for crap. You, you, they tore up the tires and and uh, it took a long time to get that crap out of the track. They, they ended up where the fire truck would come down the pumper and wash the track down a little bit. That, that was a terrible time with that thing. It ruined the track. I mean, it, it was neat to watch. If you went to the motorcycle races, it was kind of neat. Did but you go to, did yeah, you yeah, yeah, because I had a buddy of mine who was racing there, Mark DeWolf. But some of them guys, they put on a halfway decent show some nights. I never went to see it. I remember the dirt track on the inside. I remember they ran on Friday nights. I don't know if anybody actually won or not. I remember the track, but I never went to a motorcycle race. I never watched them, but I think they ran Friday nights and left dirt all over the track for us for Saturday night. I seen somebody get run over there one time and actually get up and walk away. And I remember the guy's name, Jimmy Ellis. The only other thing I remember about that whole thing was hearing about Jimmy Ellis. Didn't know who Jimmy Ellis was, never saw Jimmy Ellis drive a motorcycle. All I know is every week in the track program, there was a picture of Jimmy Ellis and a Suzuki. Jimmy Ellis, the guy was wicked good. He just, just was good at what he did. And um, he would win all the time. For a little while that worked pretty good and the crowds kept dwindling, dwindling, so I didn't think they made any money with it. I don't think that motorcycle track lasted too long. I think it lasted maybe two seasons, at the most. No crowd, that, that was the main thing. It just didn't, it just didn't fly, you know, it, it didn't go. And uh, I, I was very disappointed, of course, but uh, that's one thing my partners never, <laughs> never pointed a finger at me about because, you know, you, if you don't try something, you're not gonna, nothing ventured, nothing gained, you know? But it was a good try in the beginning, but it didn't work out, so, like so, so many things, you know? Is it safe to say when they got rid of it, you, you didn't miss it? Right. <laughs> right. Uh, that was a fiasco. That was Ben Venuti's deal. They lost their shirts with the dirt, putting all that dirt in the infield. That was the reason why uh, they sold the track.